issue-oriented alliances, and whether they're green alliances, um, green with a small g in terms of environmental struggles, uh, labor community alliances, uh, specific issue alliances, alliances uh, around the case of Umiya Abu Jamal, a very specific alliance involving organizations all over the country around a particular political prisoner's case all over the world. Um, and then in the electoral arena, the question of alliances or building the program of an independent party or independent parties. And that's where I think the challenge uh, for independent parties and for progressive Democrats uh, surfaces. And the reason for establishing new parties is to advance an agenda that reflects uh, the analysis of progressive-minded people and people affected and most seriously affected uh, by the impact of, of who's controlling this country right now. But to protect that option, to aggregate power, uh, to keep Republicans out, to, to have more of a voice in a Democratic administration, I think should be explored. Um, just a final comment on, on what we're up against in terms of the power of media. There's, the current issue of Rolling Stone, I think it's the February issue, has an article about how the GOP um, and GOPAC and Gingrich and the Christian uh, Coalition, what they've done in the last decade to build their own media infrastructure and the, the, the incentive to develop their own cable networks, their own production studios, their own um, uh, radio stations, has been their analysis that the straight media is too liberal. Um, and of course, we would take exception with that analysis, but that's their analysis, that the straight media um, is a liberal media. So they, as opposed to try to win it over or influence it, they reached the conclusion a decade ago, we'll create our own. And they've done this with literally tens of millions, if not hundreds of millions of dollars, to where they have the state-of-the-art production studios. They're saturating cable networks all over the country. Um, and with all different types of programming. Uh, and the whole, you know, we're aware of all the, the top radio stuff. But it's, it's worth reading. It's a short article. And it just shows what we're up against. And I would say that um, the left, the progressive community, needs to uh, pursue, and it, it has to an extent, with obviously without the capital resources that the right has. Um, again, we try to influence the straight media, but too often, uh, we are ignored um, and, and excluded. And so we have a cable channel here today, uh, the Santa Cruz Community, community TV. Um, we need to support those efforts. We need to build those so that we're not just talking to ourselves. That we, part of alliance building, to me, is broadening the base of, of who's hearing the message. And uh, we can hone our analysis in these types of things. Um, uh, focus on our, our goals and objectives, but if, if the message doesn't get out to the general public, and I, I agree 100% uh, with Robin in terms of how environmentalism, progressive environmentalism, can be used to cross class lines and address um, middle class and people who aren't defined necessarily in their own political perspective, but they do care if their ozone layers being depleted and their children uh, aren't going to be able to walk outdoors in 10 years. Um, so those are some thoughts.